if you use department codes in your chart of accounts. There are many ways to tailor the setup and printing of your financial statements. Within the Financial Reporter, from the View menu, select Departments. A list of all department codes defined in Adagio Ledger or FX will display here. If desired, the list sort can be changed from the alphanumeric default. In addition, departments can be grouped in various ways. Select a range of consecutive codes and right-click to choose Create Departmental Range. Give the range a description to make it more meaningful. Another way to group departments is by a coding pattern, such as the last two digits equal to a particular value. Right-click on a department and choose Create Departmental Mask to define the pattern, using question marks for characters that could be anything, and give the mask a meaningful description. New departments that fall within defined ranges or masks will automatically be included in reports. Finally, non-consecutive departments not following any coding pattern can be grouped by right-clicking on a department and selecting Create Departmental List. Select all desired departments, even ranges or masks, and give this list a meaningful description. All changes and groups will be listed in the Department drop-down on the toolbar. If a department has been marked as inactive, an icon will indicate this. These departments can be removed from the list by right-clicking and choosing to hide inactive. If security is important, it is possible for the Sys user to right-click and create user departmental restrictions. This allows selecting for each user what departments are available for selection from the toolbar for reporting. There are various ways to format departments and amounts on financial statements. They can be typed directly into the account key in column B of a Smartsheet, either a single department, or a range, or a mask, or use a backwards apostrophe to instead read the selected department value from the toolbar, or a star to read all departments. A dash character separates account and department values. Expanding a Smartsheet will generate one row for each account and also for each department if specified. To generate one row for each department, instead of using dot .range for the row in column A, replace this by right-clicking and selecting dot .range department. Expanding lists the departments as rows. Departments can also be compared in columns. Statements may be defined with just the account numbers in column B and department numbers in some row of the header. Formulas for the dollar amounts use a range merge function to determine all the account and department combinations, and all respective amounts are summed to give the result, either in a summary mode or when expanded to see each account. Creating a statement like this can be done by dragging an account group to a blank sheet and selecting Departmental Comparative. In addition to printing a statement with either consolidated departments or for a selected department, there are two other ways to print with department considerations. From the File menu, select Department Print to choose a selection of departments or groupings. The active statement will be printed once for each selection. You may also predefine statements with department selections using statement groups. When editing a statement group item, the top left area allows selection of each desired department or grouping, including a consolidated choice. A custom range of departments can be defined. The statement will reprint for each individual department in the range as well as a sum of all departments in the range. 
For more information about setting up statement groups, click this link to watch the video. Create financial statements flexibly for your department reporting requirements. For more information about Adagio Accounting, use these links on screen or from the video description. Thanks for watching.